What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 11th Python tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit sequences. Now, I don't know if I told you guys this in the last tutorial, but uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys something new. You know, it's not important what I'm going to be teaching you. Just pay attention. So, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys that sequences, unlike uh, strings, can also be concatenated. So, let's say we have two sequences right here. Let me put my cursor on so it actually works. Let's have one, uh, just put some random numbers in there, six, four, five. And you have another sequence right over there with four, six, five. You can concatenate sequences just like you can do um, whatever else I told you concatenate um, just by using the plus sign. And go ahead and once you press enter, instead of two separate sequences, you have one long sequence or a list in this case. And again, as I said, you can also concatenate strings, which is also kind of a sequence. Bucky plus, oops, Roberts. Let's try to concatenate that. Bucky Roberts. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So you can concatenate a um, list of numbers and also strings of text. But what happens if we try to concatenate a list of numbers and join it with a string of text? Well, so only one way to find out. Say we have a list four, five, six, and we want to add it to Bucky. Now, once we try to concatenate that, we get an error message. And this is because you can't join something that are two different data types. It doesn't know how. It's like, how do you join this with this? I don't know how. Here's an error message. Thank you. Um, so you can't do that. You can only concatenate them or join them if they're the same type. And this is useful when you have two smaller lists and you want to join them to one bigger list. It's also useful if you want to store in a variable so then you don't have to do that every time. But um, another thing I want to tell you guys how to do is how to multiply a sequence or well that's pretty much it. Now say you have a um, sequence of, or a string like that. Anytime you multiply this and you're gonna say alright how can you multiply this by this? What it does is it doesn't really multiply it like you think in on math, but it kind of does. It just takes this, whatever this is, and repeats it however many times you said multiply by, which I guess that is truly multiplication. So as you can see, we now have 10 buckies. And this is different than like, say we wanted to do this with a number. Well, before you do something like this, 21 times 10, uh, that's not exactly what we wanted, but that's multiplication as well. If you want to repeat 21 10 times, then you have to enclose it as an element in the list. And once you times this by 10, 21, 21, there. So these are two different ways. Um, if you are if you tried this and got this result, or you tried this and got this result, then that is what you were doing wrong. So there's a difference between how to multiply numbers and how to multiply items in a list. One gives you an answer, and another gives you an answer just in two different ways. So take note of that. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial is something called membership. Now, um, there's one little, I don't know if it's a function, but there's something in Python called in. And what in does is check if your specific value you're asking it is in a sequence. Therefore, the name in. So let's go ahead and make, um, let's have variable name and set it to a string Bucky. Bucky right there. Actually, I'm getting sick of Bucky. Just, uh, roast beef. There we go. Now the value name or the variable has the value roast beef. So now what are we going to do with roast beef? We can check if certain characters are in roast beef by using C. See, all you have to do is this. Put the first character you want to check, then press in, and in is a built-in keyword in Python. What it's going to do is take this character and check if it's in name. So is there a Z in name? Press enter. False. Hmm. Is there a R in the name roast beef? True, because here's an R right here but it doesn't find a Z. So that is how you can check 
if one element is in a big sequence by using the in built in oh got stuffy notes by using the built in in huh think about that built in inward huh that's kind of interesting to say so another thing that you can do is apply this say you have um an entire list of well i guess it's an entire list of just a list so you have mom in your family and then um dad and then um bro bro for brother and once you press enter right there you now have a list created that's stored in family in just like um i search for one letter in a whole word i can also search for one element in the list so i can say all right is sis in family enter no sorry sis is not in family i guess she wasn't cool enough what about um is mom come on keyboard is mom in family true because this element is in this sequence so that's what in does check if this element is in this sequence i can't tell you guys any more simple than that so that is your quick tutorial on how to join sequences and also how to check if a specific element is in a sequence so study this tutorial i hope you guys learned something and don't forget to check out my next tutorial and make sure to subscribe so thanks for watching and i'll see you then